Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Aquabase Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a great upgrade for this season, power knobs and handles. Power knobs are a great way for you to get the upper hand on large fish in strong currents like those we get in the Cape Cod Canal. I have here a Saragossa 10,000. It's a newer reel that's been getting a lot of momentum recently and will be absolute killer for the Cape Cod Canal this season. It has high quality bearings, a strong frame, and even an internal gasket which protects water from flooding in under the spool. Today we will be removing its stock knob and significantly upgrading it with a high performance knob created by realpowerhandles.com. This upgrade is easily done at home and only requires a few materials. Small Phillips head screwdrivers and Loctite Blue 242. It is extremely important to use this type of Loctite as other types will create a permanent bond which will affect performance and installation. Our first step is to remove the original knob from the Saragossa 10,000 and the easiest way to do this is to remove the spindle from the reel. With this done, we can now proceed to remove the knob itself. Using a small Phillips head screwdriver, we are going to remove two metal screws and a plate which will give us access to the knob and the shank of the spindle. Now use your same Phillips head screwdriver to pry out a plastic cap that's covering the screw holding the knob to the shank. With the screw now exposed, you can take your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the knob from the shank of the spindle. With the shank now exposed, we can go about attaching the power knob to the spindle. Our first step is to take the small ball bearing that comes in your power knob kit and make sure that slides all the way down the shank. Following this, our next step is to slide on the power knob. This can be done by easily unscrewing the top cap and sliding the cylinder over the shank. Now it's time to put on our bushings. These 5mm bushings are included in your knob installation kit you want to install with the large collar end towards the base as you slide it along the shank. Our next step will require us to use the Loctite Blue 242 that is included in your knob installation kit. It's important to use only Loctite Blue 242 as other types of Loctite create a permanent bond and we only need temporary resistance for this application. Using a toothpick, paper clip, or straight pin, push a drop or two of Loctite down into the threaded hole of the shank. Make sure to work in or wipe off any excess Loctite around the hole in the shank. Now that the Loctite has been applied to the grooves of the shank, it's time for us to take the last ball bearing in our knob installation kit and slide that onto the end of the shank. Next, we need to apply some Loctite to our screw. Using another drop or two of Loctite on your toothpick, apply it so that it covers the entire circumference or the threads of the screw. Now that our threads of our screw are nicely covered in Loctite, bring that over to the shank of the spindle and screw that down till it's about a quarter of an inch from the top. Next, take a rag or a small piece of paper towel to dab up the squeeze out Loctite from when you applied your screw. Make sure none of this is left on the last bearing. Once this is done, you can let this set up for about an hour or so before we move to our next step. The Loctite Blue 242 now having a chance for over an hour to set. Take a small Phillips screwdriver and drive that screw on top of the bearing, tightening down until it does not rotate freely. Once you reach that point, just back off a little bit and that will permit a nice free rotation. With the screw in place, we now just need to put on the top cap. Next, a good thing to do is to check rotation, and you can see just how freely these power knobs spin. With our power knob now installed, it's time to put that back on our Saragossa 10,000. And with that, we've installed a brand new power knob on our Saragossa 10,000, ready to drag in some real monsters this season. Real Power Handles has many other solutions and upgrades for both spinning and conventional reels alike, including handle blanks. This company supplies everything you will need for upgrades and has parts for many Daiwas, Pens, Shimanos, and much more. If you have any questions and are interested in maximizing the performance of your reel this season, make sure to inquire at realpowerhandles.com. Upon checkout, make sure to use my coupon code JACK, my name, J-A-C-K, to receive free shipping on your order, and this includes lures too.
However, if you use the link in this video, the website is already preloaded to give you that free shipping discount with discount code Jack. So again, if you're visiting this video for the first time, feel free to use the link down below. But if you want to check us later, you can always enter J-A-C-K Jack at checkout. I hope this video is helpful, guys. Looking forward, I'm going to be doing a bunch more installation videos of power knobs. So if you have a reel at home you'd like to see one upgraded or you go to realpowerhandles.com and purchase one of these knobs and need help installing that, drop a comment down below and we'll see if it can get added to the list of videos. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch Aqua Base Outdoors and I hope you get on some awesome fish this season.